A climbing helmet is one of the most important items of climbing equipment, not just on the rock face, but also during the approach or descent. A helmet should be worn whenever there is a danger of rockfall and not simply hung as a decoration from your backpack. A helmet offers protection from falling rocks and from impact injuries. If you fall, for example, or slip on an approach and roll down a steep slope, the helmet can protect your head from impact. Wearing a helmet can still result in cuts if a rock hits you below the helmet rim from the side or even goes through the helmet. Cuts and lacerations can occur anywhere on the body, but particularly in areas without much padding, where the bone lies directly beneath the skin. The head is therefore a prime target. Cuts to the head often appear much worse than they are because there seems to be so much bleeding. In reality, however, the blood vessels under the skin of the head are tiny and cannot really cause heavy blood loss. So take a deep breath, don't panic, and take out your first aid kit. First, put on disposable gloves and use a compress to wipe blood from the wound to establish exactly where it is before applying a sterile dressing. If blood loss is so severe that it seeps through the dressing, apply a pressure dressing. For people with straight hair or for certain shapes of head, a bandage applied horizontally simply slides upwards. So, it's important to also loop the bandage around the chin. Ideally, you should fix the whole dressing in place with tape. If you're unsure as to whether the wound requires medical treatment, such as stitching or disinfecting, then it's best to err on the side of caution. Seek medical attention within five to six hours. Within this time frame, a wound can be stitched without problem. After this time, the edges of the wound begin to heal, making stitching more difficult. However, treatment doesn't end with dressing the wound. You should now sit the person down, comfortably, wrap them up as warm as possible, talk to them calmly and reassuringly, and discuss whether you're able to go any further together. If continuing's not an option, it's time to make an emergency 112, or in the USA, 911 call. I should offer a word of caution at this point. Cuts to the head may be purely external, but they might also have resulted in injuries to the brain. This may not be immediately obvious. Symptoms often appear only after a while. By this I mean that the accident victim may start to feel sick or needs to vomit, may develop problems with motor functions, or perhaps suffer from visual or speech impairment. If you recognize these symptoms, then stop the tour immediately. That's the end of the tour. Sit the person down and call emergency services.